Misra has put out a video showing how the rover Pragyan came out of the land up and then went around the surface of moon in the near vicinity of the land up, leaving the imprints of the ISRO logo and the national emblem on the surface of moon. The closer photos of that is yet to be put out by ISRO. Perhaps in the coming few days that will also happen. Remember, this rover is moving at a speed of uh, one centimeter per second and it's moving on the surface of the moon. It can't go beyond 500 meters of uh, the lander because the rover is directly communicating with the lander. So that's why it won't go beyond 500 meters. And uh, the payloads on both the uh, two payloads on the rover are yet to start their scientific experiments. But remember, over the next few days, uh, roughly around 10 to 11 days is when the scientific experiments will happen. One has already started on Sunday. That's the shape payload that's on the uh, propulsion module that's going around a uh, moon that is still there. Uh, that has been started. The payload has been started. That's looking at Earth from the orbit of moon. That experiment is currently on. Uh, the other payloads, three payloads on the lander have started their experiments as well. These payloads will look at the thermal activity on the surface of moon. Uh, there's another payload that will look at uh, the seismicity uh, in the near vicinity of where the lander has landed. That's another experiment uh, that's currently on. The payloads on the lander uh, currently carrying out experiments. That data will be sent uh, to the extract center here in Bengaluru. But uh, two crucial payloads that are on the rover yet to begin uh, their experiments. Uh, so what are they doing? There are two payloads. Uh, one is a laser spectroscope that will look at the chemi chemical composition uh, of the lunar surface. There's an X-ray spectrometer that will also look at uh, uh, element composition of the lunar surface. So these two payloads largely looking at the chemical and the uh, element composition of the lunar surface. They will look at uh, uh, what these rocks are made up of, uh, whether there are elements like helium-3 present on the lunar surface. That's of interest uh, to scientists from uh, across the globe. But ISRO making it very clear that all this data that is being sent back to ISRO, uh, first it will be the investigators. Remember, each of these uh, payloads have principal investigator, co-investigators. They are the ones who will get access to this data first. Then the larger scientific community from India, which is part of a committee, will get access to this data. And after a waiting period, uh, the entire world can access this data free of cost. That's what ISRO plans to do. Uh, ISRO yet to decide what this waiting period would be. Uh, this will happen over the next 10 to 12 days. After that, ISRO is hoping that uh, the lunar night comes in and then when a new lunar day begins, uh, they can restart the system. Uh, but there are challenges uh, because when the lunar night begins, the temperature drops significantly. In fact, it might go to anywhere around minus 230 degree odd, uh, which means that some of these systems might take a hit. But ISRO hoping that just like Chandrayaan-1 and the orbiter that was part of Chandrayaan-2, uh, even Chandrayaan-3, the lander and the rover will last more than what they've been designed for. That's the hope that they're having. Uh, but many in ISRO are saying that most of these experiments can be completed in the 12 to 13 day period. And uh, if we can kickstart uh, the systems on lunar day two, uh, that would be a bonus for both the scientific community and uh, how the life of this lander and the rover can be extended. We'll keep getting you more insights and uh, what Pragyan and Vikram find on surface of the moon.